change of command. Today, a new commander at Camp Shelby Military Base, the 177th Armored Brigade, welcoming the new leader all the way from South Korea. Fox 23's Corey Howard takes us to today's ceremony in our top story. Soldiers at Camp Shelby gathered together today to say farewells to their former commander, Lieutenant Colonel John Geis III. It's always a good day when someone gets to change command because that means you've, you're moving on to the next job. For these guys, though, it's, it's bittersweet, like I said in my uh, change of command speech. It was an awesome two years, uh, and I, I don't know how I could have done it without my men. Guys leaves behind Hattiesburg, Mississippi for Washington, D.C., where he will assist in implementing plans and policies for overseas operations. Despite his departure, Guy says this battalion holds a special place in his heart. Yes, it's very much brotherhood. They're, they will always be my family uh, from now until the end of time. Now Lieutenant Colonel Adam Lowmaster looks to fill Geis's empty shoes. Uh, he had a significant influence and impact across the, not only the battalion, but also the brigade and first army. Uh, very hard to fill his shoes uh, as he departs. Adam's going to be awesome. Uh, he's already got a boatload of experience. He's been a commander, battalion commander for the two, two years already. Uh, coming into a different organization, he's been in Korea. Uh, and, and coming into First Army, which is our higher headquarters, it, it's a unique experience. And a word of advice for Lieutenant Colonel Lowmaster. Listen to the soldiers. Always listen. Um, one of the, there's a, a book that I read once, and one of the first chapters is the man on the ground is always right. And Lowmaster seems to already be ahead of the curve. Well, the first thing is uh, I got to listen to what the NCOs and officers have to say. Uh, they've been around, they have the experience. Uh, learn from them. Corey Howard, Fox 23 News.